In this electronics review, I'm going to cover all the important stuff you would want to know about this new set, which are made for 2013 by Clarion. The model is a CMG 1622R. These are sold as a six and a half inch set of marine coaxial speakers. Uh, but quick to note that the whole cutout size is more like a six and three quarters. So if you are doing an upgrade and replacing some existing speakers on your existing boat and your old application, just know this in advance that the specifications on these um, for the height, the depth, and the whole cutout diameter I want to share with you. Because uh, that might save some of you people five minutes of your time watching this entire video just to find out that information. The uh, grill height, which is of no significance, but it's 0.94 inches, basically an inch. The mounting depth is 2.32 inches. And then the, mo the mounting hole, the actual hole cutout diameter for the back of the speaker to actually get it in there is going to be 5 and 3 quarters exactly. So exactly 5 and 3 quarters inches is what you need to mount the speaker correctly in your boat so everything will line up and be fine. So, like I said, these are new for 2013. I believe they came out just a little bit late, later than Clarion might have hoped to. Um, some of the 2013 Clarion Marine stuff isn't even out yet. Don't know why. But here they are with the grills on them. Not too bad looking. Um, I'll tell you, they got a big leg up because I definitely think these things will blow away a set of Kenwood, Alpine, uh, or by far a set of Pioneers, which are just ugly. Um, these are very nice, and these have a very nice upgradable feature um, with the grill. You can actually replace, replace these grills and get the ones with nice, subtle, light blue lighting accents on the grills, which are not very expensive, very attractive. Uh, I could definitely see a lot of people wanting that. And they did some upgrades on the materials and some of the other, you know, construction upgrades from their prior models which I will go over with you right now. So like I said, they are sold as a six and a half inch set, but as I already covered that, be careful with the whole cutout, five and three quarters. These are mica injection polypropylene cones, which is pretty standard in the, in, the, um, in the industry, nothing exciting. You can see when I even use one finger that the whole cone doesn't flex, <coughs> which is very good for rigidity. However, there is a passive crossover right here on the tweeter which is not uncommon for a set of four range speakers however the tweeter which is a dome type of tweeter which is good so it'll give you a very good dispersion angle is not angleable you cannot pivot the tweeter in any way and I think that might be a good thing because I can see you know salt and water and yuckiness bugs and all that other kind of crap that you get on the water would we'll definitely find their, their way and make a home in there the tweeter is a one and a quarter inch size PEI cone tweeter type not top of the line but probably doesn't need to be, especially for a set of coaxial speakers, you know, around or under the $100 price range. These will handle 40 watts RMS. I won't waste your time with peak, peak readings because I never do because it's all bullshit. But uh, 40 watts on the water, you know, it's not going to break your eardrums or anything like that, especially if you're moving, you know, 30 miles an hour or better. But for an inside or for a moderate sound system without the use of an amplifier or a smaller amplifier, these would definitely do the job and do it and, and no glass because I like what the way they're built all the stuff that they're made out of very good basket grills everything built to last so keep that in mind they're actually not junky in that respect uh, rubber mounting gasket is included speaker grills of course are included stainless steel mounting hardware which is nothing exciting just the screws um, I don't have the exact technical specifications on the quality of the stainless but they're just screws and you got these uh, speed taps so if you don't have a gel coat and you have anything to grab into you could use those to pull the speaker in from behind with the provided hardware so that's also a very good thing uh, moving on I mean you might want to consider possibly using a speaker baffle in the back if you're not using a sub in your system that might help Dynamat also would definitely improve the sound of the uh, the speakers notice that in the box, I didn't. I, this is actually what's in the box, just minus one speaker. Um, that there is no abundance of hardware. There's no uh, terminals, wires, cables, 
uh, an abundance of installation hardware whatsoever. It's real meat and potatoes. Um, aside from that, these are the 40 watts. Now, another change is the impedance on these speakers. The impedance on these speakers are 3 ohms. So, what does that mean? Say your old speakers, say if you had one of some old Pioneer speakers or some no-name C-Ray whatever speakers, chances are they're going to be 4 ohms. Now, the rule of thumb with electrical induction and just power, you know, reference stuff and Kirchhoff's voltage law, if you, whatever you want to call it, is the lower the impedance, the higher the output. So these speakers will actually play more louder and work any amplifier connected to them harder as if you were using a 4 ohm speaker. So if you have less resistance, you're going to have less wattage output. These, since they are three, 3 ohms as opposed to 4, will play more louder. So you will get a performance boost if you're just doing a replacement. If you're putting them in new, you'll never know the difference. However, that is very beneficial, especially if you're using an external amplifier to get more power out of your system. I like that. So that's cool. Clarion did a pretty nice job. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot to say. Um, we have these things in stock, so if you're interested in getting some of these or their component speakers, their step-up stuff, amps, head units, whatever, we have it all. So there you have the Clarion. It's a CMG 1622R.